there's room in my heart for more than one big G, there's a double G. That's right, Big Turtle Gamera. Welcome, friends. I am the man you may know as he from our reviews will kill you, and I'm here to talk to you about a turtle. I like turtles. I like turtles, and I like Godzilla, as you can see behind me. I have a big old collection of Godzilla guys hanging out back there. But you know what else I don't mind so much? I don't mind Gamera. I like Gamera. Gamera's pretty cool. It's got some good stuff going on, and Netflix has been adapting these big kaiju anime uh, pretty recently a couple years back we got godzilla singular point and now we got uh the most recent gamera i think and it's been quite a few years maybe 15 years i could be wrong but i watched all six episodes and i liked it and i want to talk a little bit about it with you because i think we could all use a little more gamera in our lives much like uh, the the it had an animation style very similar to Godzilla Singular Point, which I did like, and I I, I get the idea that Godzilla is kind of this uh, at this point has become sort of a pastel that you paint with, or uh, not that you paint with pastels, but you get the idea that he is a slate that you can do all sorts of different things. You can get the MonsterVerse Godzilla, who's kind of like a big chunky boy. Or you can get Godzilla from Shin Godzilla. That's like a weird mutant extraterrestrial weirdo. Even though I don't think he's from space. But he definitely looks bonkers. Or you could get the ever-evolving version that's in Singular Point. That's like a trans-dimensional being. That I'm not even sure what's going on there. <laughs> so, uh, And while I did like Singular Point, I thought it was a little dull in some parts. Gamera was very, very different. Gamera Rebirth. Let's take a look at it. So this is from the Wikizilla page, which you should check out if you're a big Godzilla person. I think it's a great site that everybody should uh, spend some time on. They're clearly talking about Godzilla Minus Zero, which is coming out soon. But let's talk about Gamera, the big giant turtle. He loves the children's. He loves the children's. Oh, children. So, and I'm going to spoil the plot a little bit here. I'm not going to go crazy, but I do want to take a look at certain things. It starts off in 1989, and it's really kind of like a, uh, it's, it's like a Stand By Me almost, like a children's uh, coming of age story, which is kind of appropriate because at some point there's one that's called Childhood's End. I think that's the last episode. But essentially, you get these three friends who it's their last summer before they're they're all going away, and they want to have you know they want to go out on a bang, and they want to make sure that they can talk to each other while they still while the, after they 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 go their separate ways, and it's this kind of cute story about them like growing up and things going on. They meet some bullies. They're trying to buy a walkie-talkie so they can talk to each other in the different areas, and they're right outside of a U.S. airbase. And then all craziness breaks loose and people are getting eaten up by Gauss. Now, I was there are probably better breakdown videos than what I'm going to do for you um, because I wanted to show you the old style versus the new style, but that takes, that's crazy and other people are much better editors than I am. I'm here just to give you the feel, the touch, the taste. Just a taste of Gamera. Uh, so what we will take a look at is, uh, at some point, the character designs, right? I want to show you all of them. Because what they what they did was, it was billed as, uh, you know, Gamera versus these five kaiju that are, uh, I think it's five or six. But it's like a different monster every single episode. And he takes them all on and like, you know, but it's kind of building to something, which was kind of interesting. There isn't just like a random plot. There's actually some sort of plot in it and it connects to, you know, Gamera's like original mission, which was being like a protector of children. I think the first Gamera movie came out in 1958. And while he does start like kind of slamming into cities and stuff, by the end, he's 
He's a protector of children. So now he starts showing up at all these battles as they escalate. So first the Gauss come and they're like little tiny, you know, pterodactyl looking things. And they shoot these beams out of their faces. And one of the bullies ends up becoming friends with the kids. And then they go on these different adventures to... You know, they're trying to keep the kids away from the monsters. And they realize the monsters are hunting these kids down. And why, you say? Well, I won't spoil that right off the bat. But it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, again, not like your total stock, like... You know, it's not like a one-no plot. There's a little bit more to it than that. But the six episodes, each one has like a different creature. Um, the first one is Gauss, which, like I said, weird pterodactyl vampire-looking creature. Very different from the original design. Uh, then the next one's uh, Jiger, which is like a rhinocerosy ground-looking creature stomping everything. Pretty cool-looking. And I'll show you better pictures than this. I'm just running through them. So the, once the kids get off land, they go on to uh, a boat. That's when Zygra chases them. This underwater creature. Very cool looking. One of the best ones I thought was Goron. Uh, Goron's like this knife-headed creature. And then he fights Virus, which is like a squiddy looking guy. And you know, back in the day, they had guys in suits and they kind of looked weird. And you're like, oh, these are crazy designs or whatever. Not quite the same quality level as Godzilla was. But you still get, like, in this it's cool because you get, like, a re uh, like a reimagination of what they're going to look like. Kind of like what you saw in Godzilla Singular Point, but I thought the plot in this one was much more focused and tighter. Uh, they do have these really cool shots of each of the, car of, like, each of the monsters. At least their shadows. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of them. And they all have like their different uh, powers. This first one is like a, the squiddy guy. That's that's virus. There's Gauss. Looks like a like I said pterodactyl looking thing. It's pretty cool. And uh, Jiger. I thought that was a good a real. I liked all the designs. I don't frankly. I don't think any of them were bad. And the battles were really cool. You get Gamma showcasing each one of his cool powers. And uh, you know, he, he defeats them in different ways. And the episodes are relatively short. So it's not like, you know, it's not this typical Netflix grind. Yeah, I think some of it could have been tightened up. But I think they were really trying to develop this friendship between the kids. Because there are some heartfelt moments where you're like, you know, want to know what happens next. Um, there's Gailon, I guess his name is, or Giron. They must pronounce them differently in different places. And I don't know how to pronounce any of them. I'm just making this up. Uh, so I thought it was really fun, really cool. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Uh, if you ever get a chance to look at the old pictures of some of these guys, they're pretty, pretty hilarious. Um, and how they compare to their counterparts. The one thing I'll say about it, like I guess my one criticism is like for it being him <laughs> being a protector of children. There's a lot of like you know. I felt like unnecessary, like bad language. And like Gamera is more violent than Godzilla and takes more damage than Godzilla usually does. Godzilla doesn't usually like bleed all that much or don't get me wrong. Every once in a while, like he's had his eyes burned out and things happen. Don't, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> Gamera is the king of taking punishment. This dude got stabbed and sliced and diced and beat up, and he got his he gets his arm cut off, like, which is a throwback to some of the other uh, Gamera show or movies and things like that. So, um, yeah, a little bit of violence there for sure. Like, and you know, people getting pulled apart. I, it, it was just a little shocking. Like, I wasn't expecting the kids to be full-on like dropping f-bombs and on each other and then because they're little kids like they're not high school age kids they're like grade school age kids or just getting into high school so it was it was definitely interesting there's a couple cool character twists gonna say i like that as well definitely recommend for me i enjoy it i hope you do too let me know what you think in the comments below is there 
something. I there was one other creature I would have liked to see. I, I mean, I like the reinterpretations, and I ho I wonder if it'll get a second season potentially because I think they're talking about doing Godzilla Singular Point. And with the actor strike going on, they're going to need some animated stuff. I don't know how well it did or anything like that, but, you know, hardcore Godzilla fan here saying I'm all good with it. Really liked it. But uh, that's what I think. Let me know what you think. You know what to do. Check out our podcast. It's free. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. Live stream here on YouTube. YouTube is great. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join the party as we kick back. Relax and enjoy ourselves. But as for myself, I am on to the next one.